It is April 1st, 2023 in Savannah, Georgia at the Georgia Armstrong University. I'm at where they have the common pawpaws growing. Uh, I just have them nicknamed, so we're starting in reverse order. This one's tree number three. That's two. That's one. They might have official designations, but I don't know. But the tree number three is the one that takes the longest to flower. But once it starts, it really goes fast, apparently. So here's a mature flower that is not really shedding pollen yet, but it's getting ready. And we've got gotta get a brighter screen or a flashlight or something. There's another mature flower with flower bud. Immature flower and a flower bud and it's just got a lot of mature flowers now. And there's also still some flower buds so some that will still be coming. I pollinated a few by hand. I think I did this one. Oh, well, that came off, so it didn't work. Oh, stepped on a clone. Alright, so this is tree number three. It's got a bunch of flowers, finally. Back here is tree number two. This one fruited last year. I think a raccoon ate the fruit, though, or something. Here's one mature flower. Not shedding pollen yet. And then this is a flower that did not get pollinated because there's nothing there. And it'll probably fall off soon. And here's one that did because it's got that tiny little baby fruit sticking out of the bottom. And here's another one with some petals still stuck. That is probably a forming fruit. Another mature flower that's not shedding pollen. Not that you can probably see it. Another one that didn't get pollinated. Some more flowers. It's got tons of them. And some little flower buds still. Oh, yep, we got some fruit right here. So it looks like there's a cluster of three. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure. Wait, come back. There's a little bug on this one. That I assume ate part of that petal and it's hiding inside the petal right there. This is there. A bunch that I assume did not get pollinated. Wow, camera, you don't want to focus today. Alright, and then we'll get a look at tree number one which had some cool beetles on it. They might have flown away by now. Nope. This is the guy beetle because he has giant antennae. That's how he finds the females. And there was a female on here too. This one seems to mostly be done flowering because there's no more flower buds, except you probably won't be able to see it, but that's a little cluster of fruit all the way at the top there. Oh, no, there is one flower bud right here. This one had a, oh, yep. Here's the cluster of fruit on this one. So it's cluster of four, I think. This one down here, the petals have fallen off. Might form fruit, the younger flower. I don't have my paintbrush with me today, so. Got a little ant in here. And some kind of damage on the petals. Let's try to get the focus. Oh. Mr. Beetles over here now. And I'm pretty sure this is a beetle. It's so rare it doesn't even have a common name yet, so.
we'll just get a little video of him. So yeah, if you are checking out Paw Paws in April, look for beetles like this. I don't remember what their scientific name is, and like I said, they don't even have a common name yet. Alright, that's... oh, wait, no. Oh. This one is definitely going to farm fruit, probably. If the camera... Nope, camera doesn't want to focus. Alright, bye-bye.